Um, today we're talking about value and shading. Um, some of you have this worksheet. Um, if you do not have it on a separate sheet of paper, um, just try your best. There's a copy of this that's on Seesaw. So if it's easier for you to look at it on Seesaw and it to recreate parts of it, you can do that. Um, so for the first part, um, we're going to do a value scale. And a value scale shows um, a change from dark to light, and it's done in, in these boxes. Um, we have a total of 11 boxes here. So um, what you can do if you, if you don't have this sheet is just draw two lines and then create 11 um, squares. So I'm going to do it on here because I have this in front of me. And again, if you don't have this, you could look on the screen or you could look on Seesaw to um, try to recreate this and to try to match some of these values. So for this first one, it's really dark. So when you're doing something dark, um, I'll, I'll just show you over here. Um, you take your pencil and you push it really hard if you want something to be dark. Um, if you want something to be really light, you barely touch it on your paper. Uh, and medium is in between the two. Okay, um, So we're going from this black to a white. I'm going to start with this first box here. I'm pushing my pencil really hard. Uh, I'm going to try not to crack the tip, but I'm pushing pretty hard to try to get that really dark value. And then this next box, I'm still going to push hard, but it's going to be a little bit lighter than this one. So each box, I'm pressing a little bit lighter with my pencil. I'm trying my best to match it to the shade that is above it. Um, again, if you're doing it on a separate sheet of paper, then you can just look at the screen, try your best. Um, basically what you want is you want it, um, each box to get lighter and lighter and you're starting with um, this, the dark one. This one I'm going to go back on. I want it to be a little bit darker than it is. A little trick I use when I'm trying to see if the values um, are about the same when you squint your eyes and you look at something, um, you can see the values better. So if you squint your eyes and you look at it, um, it's easier to tell if you're matching those values. I'm just going to shade these in and then I'm going to come back and darken where I need to. So as I'm going, I'm pushing lighter and lighter with my pencil until eventually my pencil is no longer touching the paper um, because I'm on the one where it is white. So as you can see, I have to go back and darken uh, these boxes. For me, I turn my paper sideways. It's just easier uh, for me to work that way. You can do it how you want. to make it darker I'm going over and over it pushing my pencil a little bit harder and then I'm just going back anything that looks like it's uh, too light. If anything looks too dark, you could always take your eraser and go over that. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, you see these 3D shapes, and we're going to use uh, these values um, in the shapes. 
So when you look at this, um, the darkest area would be these shadows, and those shadows are your darkest value that are here. So the first one we did. Um, the lightest value is probably the top of the cylinder, and that's a white. Um, and at the top of the sphere is probably right about here. So as you're shading these in, um, you want to think about um, where that falls on that value scale. Now, if you do not have this worksheet, I'm going to show you really quick how to how to draw these. And this also could help anybody who just would like to know how to draw these shapes. So for this first one, the cylinder, I'm going to do an oval. And I could use a ruler. I'm just going to do it freehand, but you could use a ruler to make lines go down. Um, and then I'm just going down, and I'm making these lines uh, end in the same spot. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm copying this shape here, so the bottom of this oval, and I'm going to do it down here. Just like that. Um, and then you'll see this oval that comes off the side here. That's just a shadow, kind of like what we did with our trees. Um, so I'm just going like that, out on an angle, turn it around. Um, so that's our cylinder. And what I want you to notice here is how this is broken up. Um, there's a total of three lines, one, two, three. I'm going to put those three lines on here, too. Um, so, and just do your best to put them... Uh, to put them in approximately the same spots as these. Mine are, mine's off, so it's okay. There's this. Um, so next for this cone shape, um, you go <coughs> kind of like you're starting a triangle up. It comes to a point. You go back down. Um, this bottom shape is actually the same as what's here. Uh, so just, it's rounded. back up and then this the same thing it's split up there are a total of three lines um, the difference with this one is all these lines go to this point so this is like the vanishing point um, so you're gonna make three lines that go uh, they all connect to this end point here so one two and three and then I'm gonna give this one a shadow and notice how the shadow on this one um, it, it copies the same shape here, okay? So it's a, it's a triangle, it's coming off to the side. And next for the sphere, you start with a circle, just do your best to make that circle shape. Um, and then you're going to make the shadow come out. Now it looks like this. Um, this one is a little bit different. So it has circles within it. Um, notice how this is a full circle. The second one's a full circle. And then these ones kind of bump into each other a little here. One, two, three, four. Um, I did my circle a little bit small, but I'm going to do four. One, two, three and four again just try your best uh, mine doesn't look exactly like that um, okay so for the cube the cube is where it starts getting a little bit tricky um, so for the cube which is this one right here um, I'm going to start with a line and then um, I'm going to draw off to the side and off to the side. So it kind of looks like a Y, but it's a little uh, flatter. The, it's a little wider. And then I'm going to copy that shape on the bottom here. And I'm going to copy that shape on the bottom here. I'll go straight down on each side. Straight. See, after I go straight, I'm going to have to erase, the, erase that a little bit. Um, and now here, I'm um, going to go up from this this little corner here, up, 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 and I'm just going to put a little dot. Um, next, I'm going to draw from the edge of this to this dot, the edge of this to this dot. So I'm going to go like that, and like that. Um, and then for 
whatever the shadow it just comes off from the side it's a rectangle like that okay so that is your last shape this one didn't have all those lines in it um, the shading is just done differently on each side Okay, so now for the shading. Now, if you drew it because you didn't have the worksheet or you drew it because you wanted to and you want to shade these ones, um, you'll have to look at the screen to try to match the values or you can go on Seesaw to look at the same sheet. So first what you're going to do is um, you, you want to try to match these values. So I'm going to start with the shadows. The shadows are the darkest dark. Um, so for my shadows, I'm pushing really hard with my pencil again I'm trying not to crack the tip but I'm pushing really hard throughout the whole shadow and I'm just gonna go ahead and get all my shadows done so I'm pushing really hard dark is dark on the value scale And I could even go back through and darken some of them a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to move on to the next step here. So the next step, um, you're moving a little bit darker in value, probably about here, like this second one here. Um, and it looks like the edge of each one of these um, is pretty dark for the cube. It's on, off to the side um, where it's really dark like that. So I'm pushing hard, but not as hard as I did for the shadow, but pretty close to that. So it's still pretty hard, very, very close um, to that shadow. And I'm just going to get all of the uh, same values done at the same time. So and I'm going to this one. I went a little out of the lines there. And then this one, it's just on the side here. So the side that connects to the shadow. All right, now my next value is here. Um, which is probably about, I would say about this one. It's hard to see that, this one, right about. Um, so you're pushing your pencil lighter, um, not super light, but lighter than that last one. And then I'm going to do that same value in each one of these. So what we're doing is we're going from dark to light, just like we did on that value scale. And now it's this side is the one that is uh, that medium, medium dark value. Let's see if 
so like okay um, now we're getting lighter so this is probably right about this value here uh, so right about the middle of the value scale is this next one we're doing so your pencil is going even lighter And for the cube, it's on the top, it's that lighter value. The cube, we're all the way done now. Okay, um, and the cylinder and the cone we're almost done with. So this is this light value here, which is probably about this, like the third one from the end. So you're going to go real soft, lightweight your pencil, get that last value. Um, so this one has uh, two, we have two left, so each one you're going a little bit lighter than the one before. Um, this spot, uh, that circle, that is uh, where the light, um, the light source is hitting this uh, sphere. So what's happening is the light is coming from this side. Um, it's doing that for all of these. So that's why it's lighter on that side. If the light was coming from the other way, the other side would have been dark. Um, so for this one, we're doing this uh, second to the last value in that circle, so you're barely touching it. And if you need to go back and darken any of your other values, you can do that. Um, if it ends up being too similar to what your other ones were, um, you could always go back through and lighten. You could even take your eraser. If you if you went too dark, you could take your eraser and lighten up a little bit too. Okay. Um, so next what we're going to do is um, instead of breaking the value scale up into these little 11 squares, um, we're going to blend. So when you blend, you go from dark to light, but it is gradual. So I'm pushing hard. I'm pushing lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter until eventually I'm all the way off. Um, and you'll notice this gradual transition from dark to light. Um, so that's what we're going to do here. Um, again, if you are at home um, or if you don't have this worksheet, you're just going to draw a rectangle. Um, so two, uh, it's a long skinny rectangle, so you could do that on your paper. And it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't need a ruler, just draw it in, this is just for practice. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to turn my paper. Um, we are opposite here, so the light side is uh, on, on my left here, and the dark side is on my right. Um, so it's just opposite of this value scale. So my darkest dark is going to be here. Now this is, I'm not using boxes. I'm just doing this gradual transition. So I'm pushing really hard. I'm still pushing hard, but a little bit lighter. Um, and as I go, I'm going to go lighter and lighter and lighter. And then I could always go back through and darken if the values don't match. Lighter, lighter, lighter until eventually it's off the... Your pencil is all the way off the paper.
I'm gonna take my finger and just smear that. Uh, you do the same with the tissue. I'm gonna make sure my end is all the way light. I'm doing that by using my my eraser. And then I could always go back and darken anywhere um, that doesn't match. Man, the pencil I'm using is so shiny, so it's hard for you to see it. If I go like that, you can see a little difference with the value of my shadow. Um, gets that glare out of the pencil. Okay, so for these shapes, um, same thing if you are... If you do not have this worksheet, you have to recreate these shapes. So again, um, you'll draw an oval, line down, another line down, and like the bottom of an oval. This time we're not putting these lines. Um, for the cone, you're going up, down. Remember, this does not have to be perfect. Um, this is just for practice. In the sphere, you're drawing a circle and kind of like a partial oval coming from the side. And for the cube, I'm going to do it like that. And I'm doing this one a little bit different. Don't get frustrated if you can't get this. It's okay. Just try your best. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to do go from dark to light, just like I did here, but this time I'm not breaking it up into these chunks. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to push really hard, and then medium. I kind of like medium hard, actually. And then lighter, lighter, and lighter. And then for the bottom part, I'm going to go really dark. But this time I'm going to push hard closer to that object, to the cylinder. And then I'm just going to lighten it a little bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my finger and rub that a little bit. And if you want to erase anything that's outside of that, you can. Now for the cone shape, I'm going to start on the side, push hard, and then I'm going lighter, lighter, lighter. For my shadow, I'm going to go pretty dark and just lighten it a little bit. I'll take my finger and I'll smear it a little bit. And you could always, when you look at it, if it doesn't look dark enough, um, you could always go back and darken. If you need to lighten, use your eraser to lighten. Um, Okay, so for the sphere, I'm going to start with the shadow this time. Uh, remember, the sphere is a little trickier. Um, that center is very light. And this time we don't have those circles drawn on, so it's just a little bit different. But what I want you to think about is... Um, so it's the same where your light source is coming from the side, so your lightest spot should be right about here, so right about here. I'm not drawing a circle on there, I'm just going to show you. 
Um, so I'm going to start around these edges. Um, notice how this circle doesn't go all the way around, so it's not super dark right here. Um, all of these other circles kind of meet. Um, so I'm going to start with these edges, but towards the top, I'm not going to, it's not going to be as thick um, where I'm doing this value. And then I'm just going around and around, lighter and lighter, trying to remember to leave this part the lightest. Again, I'm going to take my finger and smear it around. Um, this time I'm actually going to erase a little bit to lighten that spot. Alright, so now we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to move on to the cube. Um, for the cube, um, we'll, we'll do the darkest dark. Uh, the shadow first. It's pretty dark. Pushing hard. And I'll lighten it a little bit, but I'm still pushing pretty hard. Um, the side, now I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I did here. Here I went solid. I did this whole thing solid. Um, here I'm going to start really dark. And I'm going to stay pretty dark, but I am getting lighter, but I'm starting really dark at that edge. But I still want this side to be pretty dark. Um, this side will be lighter than this one. So again, I'm starting at that edge. I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm going to go lighter, lighter, lighter. top will be the lightest. So the top I'm just going pretty light. Okay, so next what I want you to do is experiment. So if you want to, on a separate sheet of paper, if you want to draw some shapes, um, if you want to draw your name or something else, um, if you have a different idea, you could do that. Um, I'm just going to do, um, I'll do like a ribbon. So I just have this wiggly line. Okay, uh, don't make your line, if you're, if you're going to try this ribbon, don't make it like that. Uh, make it nice and wide. Like that. Okay. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll find the edge of each one of these, and you want about the same size. So I'm going to do, I'll do a finger space, like my pinky finger space, and I'm going straight up and down. So pinky finger space. That's about the length that I'm doing. And on the edge of each one, I'm just doing a line. So you just want your line to be about the same size on each side. Uh, for me, I did, I went with uh, pinky, my pinky space. Okay, so next you're gonna copy the shape that is above it. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, here we have this little curve. I'm going to copy that here. Um, here the shape curves around. I'm going to copy that and I'll stop once I hit into the next line. Um, here. 
Let's copy. Okay. So if I were to shade this, um, I want to think about what is in front and what is behind. So in this case, the very front is right here. Um, and But then this is in front of this, this is in front of this, and this is in front of that, this is in front of that. So when I do my shading, I'm shading uh, darker um, where it's behind. So the shadow would be behind uh, whatever is in front. And for this one, I'm also going to do a gradual blend from the bottom up. Notice how by doing this, it starts to look more uh, 3D. And you could even go through with your eraser in those spots that are supposed to be light. Um, if you want to go through and lighten, you can do that too. Um, so that's just an idea. You could also practice um, drawing more shapes, practice with the shading. Um, you can draw whatever you want and then just, uh, just shade it. So again, you're going from dark, medium dark, medium, medium light, lighter, 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 until your pencil is eventually off that paper. So just practice with that. Um, when you're done, make sure you take a picture of either your worksheet or if you didn't have the worksheet of um, your paper and put that on Seesaw.